Hi everyone, so we're going to be doing another example. It's going to be really similar to the previous example, but instead of just having a default use state value, we're going to have an empty use state, and then we'll enter in a placeholder so it's easier to um, type something in the input field. And what we'll do here is we'll do import use state from React. And I will export this function. And I'll just set up this use state right here with the name and set name is equal to use state and I'm gonna make this use state empty this time so I don't want any type of text here well actually what I'll do is I'll show you what I've done before and then um, I'll show you why it's not useful to enter in something here as a default um, default name and what I'll do here is I'll set up the input field again and I want to do something inside these tags, inside this input tag here. And I'm going to put a value of whatever name that is being entered in. And then on change, I'm going to be tracking this change that's happening. And what's going to happen is just going to take whatever value and then change that set name to whatever that e.target.value is which is the value of what's being entered in, in the input field. And then there's going to be a placeholder of your first, actually without putting this placeholder yet, I want to show you what happens like the previous video. Um, and I'm going to put a P tag right here and I'm going to say hello, whatever the person's name is. And I'm going to go to this example two page now. And you can see here it says hello default name, but maybe we don't want to show anything yet. We don't want anything any that anything that shows default like this. And over here in the input field, you can see when I click on it, there's still something inside and I can still keep typing, which is something I don't want. I want it to be automatically empty in the input field and automatically empty after hello. So in order to do this, this is why it's important to have a placeholder. And we can do this by putting a placeholder value here in the input field and say your first name. And I can remove the text that's in here inside this use state area that initializes it. So instead of automatically having something defaulted to something, it will just be empty whenever they start up this page. So use state is empty initially. And then but whenever they go to that page, they'll still see some sort of placeholder there that says um, your first name or enter your first name. I could change it to that. Enter your first name. So then it's clear to the user what they need to do. And then the name will only show up once they actually start typing something. The placeholder will automatically disappear once the user starts typing. So let me go to the page here and I'm going to refresh and you can see right here there's nothing after hello anymore it's empty that's exactly what we want because we don't know who, what the person's name is yet and in the input field you can see it says enter your first name and if I just click on this area you can see that it's actually empty and it's not just going to randomly start in anywhere you click in there it's going to actually just be an empty input field now and we can start typing the name. So if I put my name Monica, you can see that that placeholder disappears and my name starts to show up on the screen. So this is really useful because in all forms or any type of user interface when you start typing, you will see that um, your name only shows up once you actually submit it or enter in something. And the input fields sometimes have some sort of placeholder value so you know exactly what you need to type in the specific fields.